Welcome to Oddball. I'm Charlotte Wilder. Blessed to be here today with Juju Gotti, who is filling in for Amin El Hassan. Juju, you've been our just absolute rock as we've I was sick. Amin's out. We're just we're rocking and rolling here. Did you want have you been have you been just mainlining the Olympics? Yes, it's great in my heart and so like I cannot do anything without checking the scores before I leave the house. I don't even it doesn't matter the sport right now. But I, you know, I love my basketball, but they got me keeping up with water polo. They got me keeping up with archery. I'm, I'm locked in, sis. Dude, same. I was watching some water polo and I was like, this looks like the most brutal sport I've ever seen. And then like one of my, one of my mom's friends was like, isn't, isn't water polo sort of like basketball? And I was like, I mean, at first I was like, no. And then I was like, I guess sort of. Right. Um, they propel the without th- touching the bottom. It's like, how do you yeah. jump without jumping? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. It's like water aquatics or something. But uh, over the weekend, Team USA crushed Nikola Jokic and Serbia. Um, mm-hmm. 110 to 84, even though looked a little shaky uh, to start. Right. The main takeaway, I think, is that LeBron seemed like he kind of just wanted to send a message to the world that he can still be the greatest, even though he's almost 40. That picture, I just absolutely love. He had 21 points, nine assists, seven rebounds. Um, he led the starters in all three. He was back on the floor in the final minute, and it, he was converting an and one layup to go up 23 with 37 seconds left. <laughs> Juju, why is this man trying so hard down to the last minute? What's going on? Brother, you, you know how we be having like a midlife crisis for certain guys of a certain age? Brother's yeah. having a basketball crisis right now. He got to prove it every single day why y'all got him on this damn roster. Because seeing the other superstars of the NBA, the National Basketball Association, defer to my boy with two minutes left. It, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's talent all up and down that roster. But with two minutes left, you are clear out, bro. LeBron got to look in his eyes. So I think bro, he just he's trying to prove uh, Father Time wrong. And I know he done proved a lot of haters wrong already, though. Yeah, it, it's sort of crazy. Like, I can't even I can't really run anymore because my back is messed up and I'm like five <laughs> years younger than he is. And so when I see him out there, I'm just like physically, I can't understand it. Um, Steph also, who is on the older side, um, was right. on the court piling in uh, a late three. And and Juju, here, here's my take about Steph and LeBron going so hard. It's that yeah. I think trying is cool. I think trying, Mm. I think trying is really cool. I think so many people spend so much time trying to look like they're not trying. And I really appreciate that LeBron and Steph are out there being like, not only are we trying, we are trying so hard (laughs) that it's like, it couldn't be more obvious. Do you know what I mean? Right. Steph, Steph knee went back on the, he he was setting a screen on the player from Serbia and his knee got knee to knee, but Steph is so small that he took the brunt of it and he walked it off. He struggled. I'm like, I'm not, I'm good. I'm going to keep trying out here. Me and LeBron are trying today. (laughs) <laughs> this is right, what trying right. looks like. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what it looks like. Also, there was one point at which, like, they hit the switch. Steph ended up guarding Jokic, <laughs> and I was laughing. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I was like, "Oh!" And he and he was trying. He was like still trying to guard it. He fa- he, he and he fouled. But um, the flip side of this is that Jason Tatum didn't get to try at all. Um, neither did Tyrese okay. Halliburton. The internet definitely focused on our boy Tatum. And this is where it's tough for us as Celtics fans. Um, too soon. Too soon. Our pro- yeah. Our producers are going to troll us for a little <laughs> bit. Here, They have something they want us to see. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Oh give me a chance. God. Give me a Come chance. On. Give me a chance. <laughs> Come on. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. <laughs> I just swear to God, Josiah. Okay. So here's the thing. That's a low blow. That's cheating. You can't involve JJ Icefish, bro. That's cheating, bro. He a legend. Y'all can't do that, producers. <gasps> uh, there's another There's another meme, which is, you know, the handshake, the giant epic handshake meme, I believe it is called, with USA Basketball and the Celtics shaking hands. And in the middle, it says not needing Tatum to win. Wow. I hate that. Oh, that's I hate that so much. Um, oh, my God. OK, now here's Jack Harlow oh, at the Kentucky Derby. God. And someone tweeted Jason Tatum's carrying him 
to another championship and yes. our producers have a photoshop they want us to see <laughs> and so just play it and let's get this over with can we see the can we see the photoshop oh what oh uh, come on bro y'all can't put him on <sighs> No, come on. You put him on the diver. This who is did disrespectful. It. This is um, disrespect. <laughs> Juju, can I do a real quick aside here and say that I was on the diving team in middle school? <laughs> yes, that, you could do a quick aside. Yeah. Okay. So I was on the diving team in middle school and um, my dad said that I looked like, quote, a wet noodle in the air because oh, I was no. like so bad at it. So I really <laughs> just felt for that guy. I know that doesn't have to do it. With basketball. Salute to Papa um, Wilder. Salute to Papa Wilder. We love you. Yeah, he, he's an honest <laughs> man. Um, and when asked about Tatum's playing time, speaking of another honest man, maybe we'll have to see. <laughs> Steve Kerr said, uh, well, let's just hear what he had to say. I felt like an idiot not playing him. Um, but in a 40-minute game, um, you can't play more than 10. You really can't. Okay, Juju, I need, I need your help here because... <laughs> I want is Kerr an idiot or or a genius? Like I understand from a basketball perspective that against Serbia they wanted the U.S. wanted to play you know their their biggest guys, um, so they played A B A D LeBron Bam, um, but but they played White a lot too. They played Derek White. They played yeah. Devin Booker, and I feel like especially Booker Tatum can do what Book can do, but like better. He led the finals in so many stats, and I know a lot of that came when they were already up, but. Is there chess going on here? Like, I, I'm just, I'm confused. Can you explain any of this to me? I can explain it. It's very simple. In, in my opinion, yes, uh, whenever the game was, it was coach's decision every single game. If I'm the coach of the team and you got a problem with how I run my team, uh, sir, the door is 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 right over there, and I and you know I love JT. That's my guy. That's shit. salute. Of course, you gave me eighteen. We we are here, but at the same time, the Olympic basketball is a different sport. Serbia was big up uh, up and down the uh, the roster. They got they got powerful got guards, and and also uh, Kevin Durant. I know, I know. We, we'll get to him. Don't worry, he'll get his flowers. We're we're getting there. So when he's cooking, you just got to and let it ride. And I would see if we caught an L yesterday, if we, whenever the game was. I would see if we caught an L. We won the game. So, look, I know. see that Tyrese Halliburton was down there, too. He looked pretty happy. Yeah, <laughs> he, he did. Happy. Tyrese. Tyrese has big, like, just happy to be here energy, which is why I think he should just lean into that because I don't right. think, the, like, when he tried to troll the Knicks with the picture of Reggie doing the choking thing on his shirt, it just, like, didn't, yeah, I yeah. don't know. It, it and he wore the didn't. Arthur outfit and the glasses. He's very yeah. goofy. A salute to him. We love it. We love Halliburton here. We're Halley fans, but we also can respect that our brother is a little bit of a goofball in, in certain instances. Yes, but we salute. can. <laughs> yes, salute. Um, for Serbia, talk about a goofball. Sort of. Is Jokic a goofball? I don't know, but he had to do it all for <laughs> Serbia. They needed they needed more than one Jokic um, to have a chance in that game. But here's a theory, Juju. Do you think it could mm. actually be good for the Nuggets that Jokic has to play in the Olympics because he's not riding horses and whitewater rafting and partying quite as much? Like, is this a good thing for Denver? Should the rest of the league be worried? That's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. That's the greatest video. Though. This is the video of him partying in Serbia after they won the championship last year. And my favorite part about it, Juju, I don't know if you can see, but there's a guy in the lower right-hand corner who looks like he's yeah. wearing the same shirt as Jokic. <laughs> and I'm like, yep. is that like his boy? Did they call each other and were they like, let's match? They had to call each other. It might be his uh, long lost brother. Maybe not even long or lost. Maybe it's just his brother because <laughs> they look stunning. I think yeah. you're on to something, though. That's why you get paid the big bucks. People huh. don't, they're not realizing that Jokic usually come in after the summer of just chilling, sitting on his behind, riding that little damn horse on the scooter mm -hmm. <laughs> as much as he wants to. He going to come <laughs> in this, ne this next year ready to run up and down that court. And excuse me, pardon me, they just added Brody Res Westbrook on the team. So, yeah, I think the Denver Nuggets will appreciate this very, very much, like you say. I think so, too. I also think that it's um, going to be 
you know, maybe that the, the Nuggets are going to petition to have the Olympics every year or be like, <laughs> look, we need we need our boy Nick over here to stay in some sort of like competitive basketball program, because otherwise and look, th- I love summer. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't think I love, there are a few things I love in this life as much as I love summer. So believe me when I say like, I understand Jokic's complete desire to be at home and like be off the grid and be doing whatever he's doing outside with his horses. Like I, I really do understand that. Um, but unlike me, he'll be able to retire in a few years and just do that full time. So it's hard (laughs) to have too much sympathy for him, but Juju, you're right. We let's talk about Kevin Durant. Because yeah. this man, he didn't start because you might remember our, our folks listening and watching at home. You might remember that this this guy had a calf strain uh, that Steve Kerr said he wasn't worried about. Juju, you and I and Amin talked about this a couple weeks ago in Vegas. I was like, do we think we actually should be more worried about this? Uh, right. And I don't think so, because it didn't seem like he could miss a shot yesterday. It did not. And he looked amazing. It wasn't even that he was just making a oh, nice little pull up Jay in the lane. No, 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 no. Contested three pointers after contested three pointers after unnecessary fade away un- after and take these in your mouth. So it's like, yeah, bro, the Slim Reaper, he just embraced the nickname Slim Reaper finally. And boy, did he ever come through because and I didn't ever really realize the seven is a sickle pretty much. And so yeah. him on the <laughs> oh wow. magnifique Perry wee wee oh that's really <laughs> good that's re- the sickle of the yeah I think it, I mean Serbia is not small so for him to just I love when he stands at the at the arc and his feet he has this very specific <laughs> stance where his feet are like like three inches in front of each other. I'm not explaining this well. (laughs) And he just stands and he sort of leans back and shoots as though he's playing Papa shot, but it's a three over like five (laughs) massive Serbian dudes who are all (laughs) on him because they know what he's about to do. Um, Do you think that Kerr should get Durant on the court with Stefan LeBron more, uh, even if it's just for our amusement? Oh, yeah, I think it's over with. I think he's starting from now yeah. on. And uh, as long as his hamstrings and his knee bones can take it, I think he will be a part of your starting lineup, which is not necessarily awesome news for Jason Tatum. But I think <laughs> my boy, because now this is think about it this way. Yeah. Now you just don't put a battery in Jason Tatum's back now because he didn't have a great preliminary round by any imagination, yep. uh, stretch of the imagination. So now yeah. you got to determine terminate a red light in Jason Tatum's <laughs> eye now. And now yeah. when you put him in, <laughs> expect the bucket or five. I know. I know. And I think that Tatum's passing could be a real asset here. I know that in facing South Sudan, you know, that team is really fast. And Steve Kerr talked about how important it is that they have speed. I think right. he says he'll play Tatum and that I feel like Tatum's going to play like 15 minutes in that one. I mean, Kevin Durant is the greatest U S men's basketball player of all time. Like he, he is, he is a cheat code in international basketball. Mm. And I think when you've, when you, Carmelo, uh, I don't know. That's just some would say, but I'm not here and I'm not some I'm with you. Well, you are. (laughs) And I'm glad that you brought that up. I'm still going to ride. I'm going to ride for our Slim Reaper here, especially after that performance over the weekend. Because, look, anybody can be a spark off the bench, Juju. Everybody on that team, everybody on that roster is a spark. So, like, I don't know, just start Kevin Durant and then, you know, make Jason Tatum feel a little bit... You know, what? what is it? The unbelievers don't stop, not believe it, whatever. You know, I can't even remember his slogans, but... Um, Speaking of Sparks, just, just to throw it in there right now, Azare Stevens coming back to the Sparks, even though Cameron Brink is hurt right now, that's going to be a big move and prove well for the second half of the season. Back to you, yes. Char. No, I love it. That's all we should really be talking about. But <laughs> the WNBA break, it's longer than I, than I thought. Right? You know, I'm like, why can they come back? Can I come back? But we have a few other odds and ends, Juju, that we've got to get to uh, in Paris this weekend. Dwayne Wade, he was Mm. he was really going for it as a broadcaster. He had uh, (laughs) movie references, catchphrases, stories about his pals. Um, People had takes on his performance. And I guess he noticed because he tweeted this. I'm having fun. Don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. (laughs) So. 
I I love it. I love when a, <laughs> when it when a guy gets into a booth and he hasn't really been doing this before. And I'm saying guy because yeah. this is guys. This is not women. Men get in there and they're like, oh, I am going to let every every quote I have in my arsenal fly. I'm going to try out these jokes. Eventually, you realize people might not want them as much. Do you want them, Juju? Do you like Dwayne Wade in the booth? Yes, I love them. Anytime you can get a polarizing figure in the booth that can have Twitter or buzz oh, just yeah. for the commentary of the game, you're winning. Hate it or love it, the underdog is on top. And Dwayne Wade, really, like, I like seeing him marvel at LeBron as if that wasn't his teammate a couple of years ago. I'm, he's like, look at him. He's just, look at him. And, and you see him having his little stories and he's just as astonished as us and he's sharing it into a microphone with us for my first time being able to hear him in this capacity. So I'm yeah. not only getting a chance to hear D-Wade finally, I'm enjoying hearing D-Wade finally. So salute to the bit dog, man. <laughs> I love it. I, I'm with you. I'm with you, Juju. I thought him being it, again, trying is cool. That's my whole take this, this Olympic yep. season. And Dwayne Wade was trying. You can say he was doing a lot of stuff in that booth, but you can't say he wasn't trying. So let's mm -hmm. move on. Juju. Also, um, also salute yeah. to Noah Eagle, Noah Eagle oh. as well. You, he's a great teammate throwing him alley oops off the brim, just like LeBron caught for him. The he picture. is he is <laughs> uh, he is so good. Noah is so good and he's so young and he's coming for all of our jobs, except not because he has <laughs> one that people would want. Um, so anyway, Ant-Man uh, thinks that he can score a point um, off of Team USA's women's table tennis players. Here's what he said. I got some people talking about they're going to beat me in ping pong 21 to zero. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. 11 to 0. I'm scoring one point. No way. One point. I'm scoring. I mean, there's only one way to try it out. What? What? Okay. How? When are we going to do that? Whenever. <laughs> this is like this is like big middle school dance vibes where like the girls are on one side and the boys are on another and they're like I'll I'll beat you in soccer at recess. Uh, do you think that he would do could Anthony Edwards win a single point off of the US women's ping pong team look in reality no but because <laughs> aunt is from atlanta and live in atlanta like me i believe i just believe he might get one point because you can't tell me i'm not gonna do certain things i think not because i'm good at it because i lived in atlanta for long enough to understand it's about the kid so i think that anthony edwards would get one point off of those Gorgeous and illustrious sisters and athletic as well. Thank God for y'all being on the team, but Ant Man scoring one. You know, Juju, <laughs> God bless you. I'm so glad you're here for this one today. Um, <laughs> apparently, though, this is our producers are telling me this. I have not seen this video. Apparently, this is the greatest performance by an American this weekend. Here's a guy at Costco revolutionizing the art of eating. Oh, what is Lord, that? Gee. Does he have? Does he have Costco Wait. pizza wrapped around a hot dog? Oh, we might be watching legendary goat status. Oh my God. Brother. I'm, I'm speechless. Where were you when you first seen this brother eat pizza with a hot dog in it? <laughs> you know what? I think I might have to try it. I'm going to try it, Junior. I'm going to get a New York pizza and we a gotta hot dog. We got to try it. Yeah. Okay, great. We got to try. This uh, is an eyeball special. Go to your local vendor and order an eyeball special. Pepperoni beautiful. pizza or the pizza you love right around a, uh, a brat. <laughs> when we come back, <laughs> special Olympics edition of Bet the Show. Welcome back to Oddball, Charlotte Wilder, special guest, Juju Gotti. Welcome back, um, because today we have a special edition of Bet the Show uh, that's focused on the Olympics. And Bet the Show is presented by DraftKings. Stay tuned, because you'll hear more about DraftKings and all it has to offer throughout the show. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Hell yeah, because Amin isn't here. Juju, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, the first bet. Team USA versus South 
versus South Sudan. So Mm. the U.S. is favored by 31 points here, Juju. And I want to talk to you about this because South Sudan, first of all, they beat Puerto Rico 90 to 79 over the weekend. It was their first Olympic win. That is so exciting. They're doing unbelievable things with that program, as Amin said um, on Levitard's show. Also, um, Team USA needed a LeBron miracle just to beat South Sudan. 101 to 100 in an exhibition game last week. Um, so what, Juju, why is this? Why is it 30, 31 points? What's going on? Who are you taking? Uh, I'm taking South Sudan. I mean, I think that this may be for the casual fans that think that, oh no, South Sudan woke a monster. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That was the USA trying, in my opinion. So I, 31 points. I, it's a bit unbelievable. I suggest everybody head to Trap Kings. <laughs> Follow yeah. me. No, don't don't meet me there. Uh, Beat me there because I'm taking South Sudan. <laughs> I love it. I love that. I'm with you. I think that seems like um, let's move on to uh, the second bet of our bet the show. Ooh, this is fun. Um, the overall points leader for Team USA. Juju, we've got Kevin Durant at plus 130, Steph Curry at plus 900, Devin Booker at plus 2,500, LeBron James plus 140, Ant plus 1,400, Anthony Davis plus 4,000. Who are you going with? What's the best bet here? I think I'm about to dare I say it. I think I might. You know what? No, I'm not. What? Yes. What? The, Slim, the Slim Reaper looked at me and said, you better not. I'm going with the Slim Reaper because okay. Kevin Durant has, has shown me that if he ain't going to do anything else, he's going to come in and get you a bucket. No matter what the, 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 time, the temperature is, the timing in the game, I'm going with the Slim Reaper. Uh, plus, what does it say? 130. 130. Slim Reaper all the way. Yeah, I'm with you. I think that this is one of those things where sometimes it's like the most obvious thing just is the thing. And so just <laughs> like don't fight it and let's uh, let's keep the KD train rolling. So now this is interesting. I actually forgot that the Olympics had an MVP like the whole tournament. Um, obviously, we can talk about Americans. Is it going to be KD, blah, blah, blah. But we've talked a lot about him. Um, on there. So RJ Barrett is plus 3000, uh, our Canadian okay. friend, Josh Giddy, Australia plus 3000. Um, AD he's American. He's plus 3000, whatever. Franz Wagner plus 3,500. Yeah. Franz Wagner. Giannis, the Greek <laughs> freak plus 4,000. Seems strange that he would be, you know, I don't know. And Dennis Schroeder, That's Germany, Greece is, Greece is, uh, oh, right. <laughs> playing like they're playing on Greece. I forgot. My- <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Um, Joel Embiid, who is playing for Team USA. And I can't, before we get to this bet, uh, Juju, I'm not into Joel Embiid. I, I don't like yeah. how he, I felt like he played pretty dirty in that series against the Knicks. And then he gets mm-hmm. onto the Olympic court and he's like complaining to the refs and he's mm-hmm. like waving his hands and rolling his eyes. And I'm like, buddy, I just like, I find it boring. Bad Afro twist too, by the way. Like, I just don't like, you're right, bro. Something happened. Especially seeing that the, the, the last time we saw him, he had one eye, one leg, and he was battling his way for the Philadelphia Sabres. Now you're going to hop your behind on the USA team, taking up Paulo Bancaro. But I don't like it. I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you 100%. Yeah. And now the six with Paul George and Joel's just going to go back hurt. Anyway, um, trust the process. Right, trust the process. <laughs> yeah. Trust the process. Great Who minds. do you like here, Juju, for, for tourney MVP? Uh, out of these names right here? Well, no, you can still say you can still say Kevin Durant, but I just wanted to talk. I wanted to remember some other guys, you know, I think, you know what, if it's not going to be Luis Scola this year, getting it finally, I'm going to go with uh, Goat James, LeBron James, because his impact for the tournament assists, rebounds and just that takeover at the end of games, whenever he start putting the vest back on, (laughs) I think that's going to be a problem. I'm going to go James. I think I think that's a great um, I think that's a great call because LeBron, as we said earlier in the show, LeBron is trying. Sure. Durant might be a better payout. I don't really care. I think LeBron is <laughs> easy money. I'm all about easy, is actually isn't Kevin Durant's Instagram easy money sniper. Yeah, there's oh. that. Mm-hmm. There's that. Damn it. Instagram. We may be wrong. Well, ah. 
it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the the first or the last time um that's it for oddball juju thank you so much for co-hosting with me today you are the best we will see you tomorrow with a special usa all-time bracket and remember trying is cool <laughs>